Yeah, that's a good segue point. Climate change needs to be a more serious conversation for sure. I feel that it's become hypersensitized and politicized. Why do you feel this has become the norm? What is it? But just the hypersensitivity and the politicizing of the climate well, change needs. Change is hard. Change is very hard. And we certainly have that being acted out in our political uh, drama right now. Uh, yet, uh, we have to face very stark choices in this regard. You have to realize if you don't want to reduce your driving, if, as and I ask, I have a I have a workbook out called the gasoline diet: drive less, lose pounds, save the planet. Does this tank of gasoline make me look fat? Yes, it does. <laughs> Either walk it with your fingers or walk it with your feet. Yeah, this tank of gasoline yeah. makes me look fat unless I move to a new uh, idea. And we have to move there whether we want to or not. When the planet warms up and the ice in the Arctic melts to the point that it is no longer cooling the planet, that is a very different place to live and you will not like it. And your kids will say, what the heck? Why didn't they do this? Well, they just didn't like change. Well, isn't that too bad? Uh, it's going to happen to you. It's not going to run down the generations to your grandkids. So that's the hard truth. And best to embrace it and be the edge of change rather than the actionary uh, minority with their heels dug in going, hell no, I won't go. It's really a very simple choice, ultimately. Going into the 21st century and as fast as we can, say, 10% uh, electric cars a year, uh, that's 10 years, 15% of electric cars a year, uh, mixed with Zoom and uh, other elements, bicycles, yeah, it's going to be an interesting mess, but that's what change is. We get to the other side, we'll let go some of those things that served us in the interim. How exciting that's, to be in charge of changing point. the planet. 